Today's the day. We are on the way to Good Hue, Minnesota for the clamshell wagon reunion. Six o'clock in the morning, just about to cross state lines. Three more states to go, and then we'll be in Minnesota. Alright, so we're at our first fuel stop of the day. We're at Casey's in Crown Point, Indiana. Uh, gas is $4.47 a gallon. The old 71 Oldsmobile made it up here all right, no problems. Got 16 miles to the gallon and about 200 miles. We're going to run over to Crete, Illinois. I meet a friend of mine, Jerry from Jerry Jr.'s Garage. We're going to meet up with him and his family. He has a 76 Caprice Estate station wagon. And we're going to head on up to the wagon reunion up in Goodhue, Minnesota. So stay tuned and ride along. Alright, so we made it to Crete, Illinois, and look who we found. Uh, this is Jerry. Some of you might remember him from last year's wagon reunion. He has a nice 76 wagon over there and uh, Jerry tell us what what we're doing and where we're going today well we're about to make the journey all the way up to what is it is it Rochester Minnesota yeah Somewhere south of Rochester good hue Minnesota okay, good hue Minnesota that'll be the world's largest collection of 71 through 76 wagons um, in one place definitely I think it's gonna be bigger than last year thanks to Ted here for starting that last year meeting well, up with me this year this time you're coming my way yeah, so last year he came down. And you got the 71, and I got the 76, so we got the first generation and the last. So yeah, that's good. A good trip. So Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get there all right, and I get back, and so there should be a pretty good turnout, about 50 wagons or so. The guy that's hosting it, he has about 20 himself, so there should be there at least 30 people there with wagons, and we'll go over and take a look at Jerry's wagon, and we'll hit the road. Sounds good. Oh, good morning. Saturday, July 30th, 2022, about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're here at Jerry's friend's house. 
getting ready to go and leave for the clam show wagon reunion clam fest 2022 in minnesota got the cars all ready to go they're packed up cleaned waxed them I'm going to leave here it's about a two hour drive from here to there get there around 8 30 in the morning um expecting about 50 wagons are supposed to be there give or take a little bit along with 30 to 50 71 through 76 gm cars uh, cadillacs buicks oldsmobile pontiac and chevrolet officially made it to Minnesota. We're in Winona, Minnesota. Uh, there's a couple barges over there. That's the Mississippi River. We've got about an hour more to go and we'll be in Minnesota at Hilp's place. Well, we have officially arrived in Goodhue, Minnesota. About 650 miles later, we're gonna go check out the wagon reunion. Jerry's there in front of me speeding. He's trying to get there in a hurry. We'll be there in a couple minutes and check out all the wagons. Okay, so we made it to Good Hue, Minnesota and the Clamshell Wagon Reunion Clam Fest 2022. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning here. We got a pretty good turnout so far. There's probably about 40 wagons here already. Uh, this is my wagon, 1971 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser. And um, sitting next to Jerry's 76 Chevy Wagon Caprice Estate. We got a couple more. 76 Chevy wagons, got a blue 76 Impala wagon there, sitting next to another 76 Chevy wagon. And we got another 76 Chevy wagon, Caprice Estate. 73 Buick wagon, sitting next to a 1973 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser. And then we got a 73 Chevy. 75 Chevy wagon. This wagon and the wagon before and this Pontiac coming up here belong to Hill and they are actually all for sale if you're interested. This is a 72 Pontiac wagon sitting next to a 1975 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser. It's a pretty sharp looking car. It's a real nice color on that. It's clean too.
Now we'll show you around. We've got one more up here in the front. This is kind of the, uh, as you drive by, this gets your attention. You've got one wagon sitting out here. It's 74. Heavy wagon. You've got the fire truck in the background with the big American flag flying as you enter the driveway. And if you look over there, you can kind of see there's some more cars over there. We'll get to them here in a little bit. Right now, we'll pan around here, show you the rest of the wagons. Um, Hill said there's probably about four or five more coming yet. We've got plenty of room. Uh, this is a 76 Chevy wagon here on the end. Sitting next to a 73 Chevy wagon. Seems to be a lot of Chevy wagons. It's kind of the dominant make up here. Um, there's only really one Buick wagon so far. Got two 1976. Oldsmobile Custom Cruisers, basically the same car, just one has wood grain and one does not. Uh, my dad has a car just like this one here, 76 Oldsmobile in cream. You might remember it from last year, he was at our show, Bruce, with Eclipse Garage. Basically, same car, looks just like it. Got a 74 Pontiac wagon, sitting beside a 76 Pontiac Grand Safari wagon. This is Josh Murphy's second wagon. Uh, he brought his green Chevy wagon to our show last year, and this is his Pontiac wagon. Uh, this is a 1976 Chevy wagon. Sitting inside a 1971 Chevy wagon. So you kind of have the first and the last year of the Chevy clamshell wagon sitting there. 71 and 76. Got a 72 Chevy wagon. Sitting inside a 76 Chevy wagon. It's got the little promo cars up there in the windshield. We'll have to come back and take a look at them. Got a 74 Chevy wagon. Pretty clean looking car. I believe this is all original paint car too. Super nice looking car. And check this one out. This wagon's got LED headlight rings. 73 Chevy wagon. Pretty nice looking car. And then next we got a 1976 Chevy Caprice Estate Wagon. This is kind of the holy grail of wagons. All the guys like the 76 Chevy Caprice Estate Wagon. Um, this is a 75 Chevy Wagon, 74 Chevy Wagon, and actually in this lineup, there is the complete collection of 71 to 76 Chevy wagons. This one here is a 73 Chevy wagon. Sit next to a 72 Chevy wagon and a 71 Chevy wagon. And we have one more 72 Chevy wagon. This does not belong to the same guy, but here's the lineup of the 71 to 76 Chevy wagon collections. The one guy actually owns all of these. From there down to the blue one on the end. And we'll pan around here, kind of show you the rest of them. Uh, got this row here and then the GM sedans and convertibles and coupes there on the other side. We'll go over there after this and show you them. This is Josh Murphy's second wagon. This is a Chevy wagon that he brought down to Greenville, Ohio last year and had it at our wagon reunion. Got it all done and got a pretty nice power plant in there for a motor. Uh, this is real nice car. This is an original 22,000 mile 72 Chevy wagon. Clean. Uh, Hill bones this one as well. Probably never find another one that is that nice. And a 76 Chevy wagon. 76 Chevy wagon. This wagon was actually in the movie Friday Night Lights. A 76 Chevy wagon with a blower and flames. And finally, a 72 Chevy wagon. I'm going to kind of give you the overview here. We'll take some more videos and do some drone work later. But, pretty impressive sight. Alright, so now we're on the other side of the farm with the 71 through 76 GM cars and a fire truck. So we'll take a walk through here and kind of show you each car. First one, we got a 73 Chevy. Chevy 
74 Chevy. Seventy-two Pontiac Granville. Seventy-four Chevy. Seventy six Pontiac Catalina. Seventy two Chevy. Seventy six Oldsmobile. Seventy three Buick. Another seventy six Chevy. 74 Oldsmobile 75 Oldsmobile convertible another 76 Oldsmobile 76 Chevy Caprice 74 Chevy Impala and then the fire truck American France. Got the flag flying and everything. Ladder truck. They're still coming in. It's about noon. Two more showed up on trailer here a little bit ago. Still coming in. 75 Chevy Impala. Seventy six Buick Riviera. Another seventy six Buick. Seventy six. Well, my bad. Seventy four Chevy Impala. Seventy four Buick. Say seventy three Buick. No name in that one. Got a pretty nice motor built up in here. 71 Chevy Impala. We've got the Cadillac on the end. Sharp looking car. 73 Cadillac. And they're still coming in. We got a couple more of them back there just showed up. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the overflow of the GM sedans. There's probably another 10 or so over here in this section. And I've got a 73 Chevy sitting here. Sitting inside a 75 Chevy convertible. There's probably about 40 or so sedans and convertibles and coupes. And then a 64 Chevy wagon. This one is his well. Tucked back here in the corner. Pretty clean looking car. We'll pan around here and got two convertibles. We got a green 74 convertible Chevy and sit inside a tan 75 convertible. This one's green with green interior. Not a bad looking car. And then we're sitting here next to the 75 convertible. Basically the same car, just different year newer and different color. I'm gonna come over here. This is a, the 72 row of Chevys. 
We got three 1972 Chevys sitting over here. This first one, the 72 Chevy convertible. And I'll, all of these belong to Hilb as well. You got a 72 Chevy sedan sitting beside another 72 Chevy sedan. And we got a food truck and everything over here. And we got a 74 Chevy convertible over here. This one's for sale. If you're interested, we can get the contact information for you. Set beside a 71 Chevy sedan. The 71 is a six cylinder with a three speed manual transmission. Kind of a rare car for 71. Back here we got a 76 Chevy. Pretty clean looking car. Got the blue bug shield. And then we got a couple more over here we'll take a look at. Got a 76 Chevy Impala. Sitting beside a 75 Chevy sedan. And finally we have a 76 Chevy Impala. Okay, we're going to look at a collection of 71 through 76 Chevy wagons owned by one man, Jason Pagel. He has the complete collection here, 1971 through 76 Chevy wagons. First one here is a 71 Chevy Kingswood. Pretty sharp looking wagon. This is a two seater wagon. Some of them have the seat in the back with an extra seat. This one just has the two. This is a nice leather interior. Kingswood. With this being a 71, 71s all have louvers in the tailgate on the wagons as well as the 71 through 6 GM cars, Cadillac, Buick, Olds, and Pontiac. They would all have these louvers here like my 71 Oldsmobile for airflow ventilation. Whether that worked well or not, that's a different story because in 72 they did away with it. So this is a 72 Chevy Townsman wagon. Now, if you notice, this one is a three-seater wagon. It has a third seat in the back. It splits right here in the middle. This one is kind of different. This has a manual tailgate. So as opposed to your tailgate and window being power, the window is still power, but the tailgate drops automatically by hand. So you push your key in there, you turn that, tailgate drops down, and then you pull it back up by hand. The 71 has electric tailgate, as most of them are, and the electric works both the tailgate and the window. Next, we have a 73 Chevy Impala wagon. This one is a two-seater wagon. And I believe this has a painted roof right now, but this was a vinyl top car, as you can tell from the little piece of chrome trim right here that's usually where the vinyl top would come down and meet still a sharp looking car power window power gate and then we have a 74 chevy wagon this is a 74 bel air wagon pretty rare wagon has a manual tailgate as well three seats and we'll go around front here. He has a sign in it. There was only about 2,000 or so of these made. Excellent patina on this wagon. That's just absolutely gorgeous. Great patina. Got the little Mooney hubcaps on there with the raised white wall tires. '74 Chevy. Here's the sign that he's got in the front. 2,913 made of the Bel Air three-seater 
74 Chevy wagon. Next, we have a 75 Chevy Impala wagon. This one's kind of neat. It's got flames on it. And beside it, the Holy Grail wagon, the 76 Caprice Estate. This is a real sharp looking wagon. Take you around back, show you the back sides. This one is a three seater as well. See the extra seat here in the back. Caprice Estate. There's the 75 Chevy with the flames on the side. And most of these wagons, they all have luggage racks, some don't. That was an option you can get, like mine does not have a luggage rack over there. They have a CB antenna instead. But it just depends on what options you want and what you wanted to get.
All right, so um, we're here at the wagon reunion, and uh, this is. You want to introduce yourself? Gilbert uh, Struess from Goodyear. Okay, and uh, on, tell us what we got going on here. This is your car in front of you, right? This yes, is Chevy wagon. Are, these two are mine. Okay, and uh, so we're at the Clamshell Wagon Reunion, the Clam Fest 2022. Um, I had hosted this show last year in Ohio, and Hill had mentioned something about maybe hosting at his place, and. So fast forward to today, here we are, and uh, Hill, why don't you tell us about your two cars here? Uh, 72 Kingswood wagon, uh, bought it from the uh, original owner. Uh, he had died and the wife had it yet. 22,000 miles, uh, they used it very little, used it for vacations only. Uh, original tires, original headlights, uh, just a absolute perfect car. And this, this was a local car, right? Yes, came out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. And then you got the 76 here. What's the story on it? 76 Caprice Estate uh, came out of Nevada. Uh, same story. The lady was 93 years old. Uh, she had quit driving. Uh, the kids put the car on Craigslist uh, a lot of years ago. She ended up purchasing it and uh, having it shipped back to Minnesota. Uh, okay. 60 some thousand miles on it. There again, beautiful car. Perfect. Are they both three seaters or two seaters? This one's a three seater, this one's a two. Okay. So real, real low mileage cars, and Hilb has a real nice collection of a lot of other cars too. How many, how many cars you got in total? I've got uh, nine wagons here today. Nine wagons, and then how many of the 71? Six sedans? sedans. I've probably got about 15 of those. Okay, and then he's got a pretty good parts car lot out back, but those aren't really drivers, they're just wreckers. And uh, so next year, uh, Hilb, we're gonna do this again at your place? Uh, uh, no, I'd like to see it go somewhere else. We'll spread it around the country. Yeah, that, that'd be a good idea. So I, like I said, we hosted in Ohio last year. We had a pretty good turnout. And, uh, I mean, you can tell we're just kind of paying over a little bit. There is a number of wagons here, thanks to Hilb, and he put this all together. So how many wagons do we have? I think we counted 40 wagons. 40 wagons, and how many sedans? And yeah, there's 40 of them, too. 40 of them, so 80 cars in total. And I saw there was a 41 or two Cadillac out back and a couple others. Guy drove in from, where was it? On his Harley? Oh, he was from Denver, Colorado. Yeah, Denver, Colorado, he drove in on his Harley. And uh, he checked everything out. Doesn't have a wagon, right? No, he just, he likes these cars and he drove this far just to come look. Yeah, that's dedication right there. So, all right, well, uh, Hill, do you have anything else to add? You want nope. to talk about your show, any? I'm glad everybody came today. Uh, it was a good turnout, the weather was good. Food is good. Uh, yeah, very good food. I'm glad everybody showed up because I think this will be the largest uh, gathering of wagons in a very long time. Other than the Demolition Derby, I'd, yeah, I'd have correct. to agree with him on yep. that. So, yeah, stay tuned next year. Uh, nothing's really planned, but maybe we'll go a different route. Like I said, maybe in Nebraska or maybe we'll go to the east. We went kind of west this year. So, yeah, very nice collection, Hill, and uh, you did a real good job. Uh, we really appreciate it. So, well, I guess we'll hop off here and uh, move on to the next one. Thank you. All right. All right, so we're here at the Clamshell Wagon Reunion. I have, uh, can you introduce yourself? Mr. Good Flyers. Yes, and then I'm JJ. He does, he's doing some drone work and some camera work. And some of you may know Mr. Good Flyers. He has a pretty big YouTube channel here and you're from where? Down by Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. So he's come all the way up for the show. Uh, you got anything you want to add? Have a good time? Oh, wow, it's been a blast. Yeah? You having yeah. fun? Never, never seen this many 71 to 76 GM vehicles in one place. So this is kind of the pilgrimage if you're into one of those and you got one. Yeah, this is a place to be. And if you're not here, you're missing out. I know there's a lot of people who said they wanted to come, but they just couldn't make it. And I drove from Ohio last night. Um, that's kind of why we film these is just to show the people that couldn't make it what was here and give them a way to participate from home all right so we're here with uh josh murphy some of you might remember him from last year he toured the chevy wagon down to greenville ohio last year uh so this year he took brought two wagons he's got this 74 yep. chevy wagon as well as a 76 pontiac wagon so josh you want to talk about this wagon some and then we'll Check out your other wagon. Yeah, this one here we did a uh, big block motor up quite a bit. Runs good, AC works good, especially good on a day like today. You know, not a 10, but you know, it's a decent car. Yeah. Runs, runs out good. Good looking car, yeah. so. Yeah, we 
you like driving it, have a good time cruising around with it. Hearing the stories from everybody at the gas station and the restaurants. We prefer driving the Pontiac over this one. That gives one head now. 75 Oldsmobile, I think that was. Uh, all right, well, well, Josh, we'll go over and we'll go look at the other wagon. Let's go check it out. Okay. All right, so we're standing here with Sammy and Jimmy in front of their dad's 74 Chevy wagon. Now, Jimmy, you want to tell us a little about this wagon? Yeah. All right, what do you want to tell us about it? Um, what I do you like. like. What do you like about it? I liked it because it doesn't have rust on, on, the, on the sides of it. How fast does it go? Uh, Pretty fast. 20 miles an hour. 20 miles, 20 an, hour. miles an hour. I might want to race this one. We can race, race with pinks. Right? Now Is you, it your favorite color? Yeah. Yeah. You have another wagon too, don't you? Dad yeah. Does. What yeah. kind is it? Pontiac. 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 Do you like yeah. Pontiac better? No. Mm, no. Uh, Daddy likes that one the best, do doesn't he? Uh, the green one? The Chevy? Yes. Chevy. Can you drive the Chevy yet? Yes. He's got the window. Can you drive? Can you drive it? Yeah. Oh, <gasps> what? Dad lets you drive? She's the back door. Why don't you hop up in there and we'll put you in the driver's seat. Good idea. Yes. Come on. Steady car really loud? Yeah. Yeah, do you like that? Go mm -hmm. fast, make a lot of noise. Why don't you honk the horn once? Push in the center. Push hard. No. Nope. <gasps> I don't think we've ever heard that. Haven't you? Uh uh. And in about another 10 years, you can drive this. You want to check out the Pontiac too? You want to go check it out? Yeah. Okay, we'll go and check out the other one. We're back to the 76 Pontiac again. And yep. Jimmy, what do you want to tell us about this car? Tell them about Daddy painted it. Daddy. Or Daddy made all the paint marks on there. Daddy made all the paint marks on Show them what I mean. Turn yeah. around and point to it. Let's see them. Right up there, yep. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of them wheels? You like them big wheels? Yeah. Should we polish them? You did that this morning, or yesterday. Didn't you? You made them all shiny. What do you think of this event? Are you having fun? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. You come back again next year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Say well, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you guys had a good time. So we'll uh, move on to the next car, and in maybe a couple of years, you'll be driving. Yep. Right. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> welcome. All right. So we're here with Josh's other wagon. This is a '76 Pontiac Grand Safari. And uh, Josh, you want to tell us a little bit about this wagon? What you've done to it and all? Yeah, this car here, a little bit more original motor. We don't need to look at that, but rebuilt factory 455. Nothing really done to it. Modern AC. Everything works on it pretty good. Uh, did a little paint work on it, make it that kind of burnt pasture look, I guess. You got some big wheels on there. Yeah, uh, put a little different wheels on it. Totally redid the interior. Runs and drives like new, new steering and suspension. What size tires and rims are those? There are 22 inch wheels on the back, 20s on the front. It gives it a nice little stance. Yeah, just something a little different than everybody else, you know. Does it drive pretty good with those tires on it? it drives like new. It really does. I'm gonna check out the interior here. This is a pretty, uh, pretty deluxe interior. Bright red, 60-40 seats. There's the dash. I said it's got power, power seats, power windows, power door locks. AM, FM, eight track works in it, which we listen to them occasionally. Doesn't have climate control, but other than that, it's pretty well optioned. And then let's pan around to the back here. The interior is probably about a 10 out of 10. It's real nice. This is a three-seater wagon. You see the split there in the seat. You get an extra seat in the back and 
Josh has it all tinted out. Looks really good. Come around here. So. Got our eight track case in there full of our jams. Yep, so there's where the seat would pop down and then good looking wagon. Got anything else you want to say about it? Well, other than that, it's kind of our favorite, really. It's the cruiser. Yeah, it looks it's like it. one we, we like riding around in is this one. You go out and get ice cream on Friday nights. Yeah, and... everyone wants to ride in this one when we go somewhere. Yeah, I bet so. so. All right, well, Josh, thank you. I'll go around and we'll interview a couple more other people and Sounds check great. out the wagons. Thank you. Yeah, good seeing you again, and we'll catch up with you sometime here. Sounds Okay, so we're here with the Hansons, and uh, they have a what year Chevy wagon? 76 Impala. 76 Impala, and where did you guys come from today? I came from Burlington, Wisconsin. Burlington, Wisconsin. How far is that from here? I would say about five and a half. Five and a half hours? Yeah, not, not too bad. Not miles? Yeah, right. Okay, well, why don't you uh, show us your car there, Jason, and uh, sure. we'll check it out. Yeah. It's a pretty nice 76. Yeah, it's getting there. It's a work in progress like anything is. We've had it for what, honey? 17? 17 years. 17, 17 years. years. All three of my kids have helped on it. Have they? Yes, they have. Right, Alina? Yeah, I yep. don't even remember how long we had it. I was so young. Yeah. Do you get to drive it, any? <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe a couple Coming years. So. Right. I've had my two boys. They both have driven this. Okay. I should have had them uh, take their driver's ed test in this. That would have been nice. Yeah, you might have knocked over a few cones and <laughs> driving the land barge. Yeah, it's a real clean wagon. I said the engine bay is real detailed. And yeah. Got some nice blue headers on there. And have you done any motor work or is it all stock? Just or? a little bit of top end work, nothing too major. Okay. Just a little freshen up. And uh, let's, let's take a look at the interior. See sure. what kind of interior that is. Pretty much bone stock. It's not too bad, a little rip or tear here or there, but uh, not too shabby. And then this is another three-seater wagon that has a split there, so there's a third seat in the back. and Has a couple options, not heavily optioned out, but still a nice car. Yeah. And go around at the back here and check it out. So I see the Power Tour sticker on there. Have you took this on the Power Tour? I took this car in 2015 and did, uh, let's see, three stops. So it was probably roughly 3,000 miles it was pretty cool the car did great did not have any problems with it um, it was fun doing 90 miles an hour next to uh, Dodge Hellcats and uh, telling them let's race <laughs> yeah and, uh, good laughter from them yeah they probably got their uh, doors blown off too didn't they <laughs> that's right I told them Robin was racing and they were like no we don't want no part of that then. no yeah well, <laughs> hey, you guys are having fun today though right oh absolutely it, it is great seeing all these cars, seeing you here, um, a younger generation, older generation, just to keep it flowing, keep it going. It's it's really cool. Yeah, there's a there's a mix of everything, and there's something for everybody and everybody here. And like yeah. I said, and young and old, and younger generation is getting to see the Pontiacs, the uh, all the different ones, the Bel Airs, the Biscaynes, all the different stuff. Trouble is, there's not really that many left to pick from, so. No, what, not. What you get is kind of what you get, but yeah, we've, we've had a pretty good day here. Um, anything else you guys want to add about your wagon? What kind of wheels you got on there? Those Buick Rally wheels? They or? are the Buicks. Okay. I uh, hand painted them, of course. They look good. You know, Buick on a Chevy is kind of sacrilegious, but that we'll, let it, we'll let it slide. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it looks good. A real good looking wagon. And next show, he'll have it all buttoned up. And That's what I'm hoping. Getting all the, I got the tailgate sealed now from my buddy up in Canada, okay. baby boy. Yep. And uh, of course, all the other guys around here are not afraid. If you ever need something, you hit them up. They usually have something. And derby guys are great guys, and car guys are just as good too. So they always have what you need. Yep. And you got the dual exhaust on there, so you go fast, make a lot of noise. Oh yeah, nice headers, two and a half inch Flowmasters all the way out. So it's the poor man's uh, hot rod, as they say. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good deal, guys. It looks good and. Uh, We'll move on and look at a couple more cars. Anything else you want to add? I would just like to say this is a great event. Thank you. I'm glad it started. 
yeah hope it keeps going and hopefully uh, able to do as many more as possible with mine too yeah and say maybe we'll do it in a different area next year get a couple more wagons and yeah. see what happens so. Be great. so yeah thank you very much thank you. all right well good seeing you guys and uh, we'll move on to the next car sounds good all right so we're here with tom and he is from minnesota and has a 75 6 76 impala wagon so tom why don't you tell us about your wagon a little bit well it was just a minnesota rusty car that needed uh floor patching and needed a motor and tranny and i figured we could uh fix it up and have more fun driving on the road than one night of smashing yeah that's probably so, true nothing fancy nothing pretty now you got efi on the side does it have electronic fuel ignition yep uh motor come out of an 89 chevy pickup okay you want to pop the hood in for us and show us the motor Okay. Now, even though this is not the original motor, we ain't gonna harsh on too bad. It's run pretty good, does it? Yeah, it ain't too bad. Yeah, it gets with the program. It was a budget build, so. Okay. Well, why don't you, uh, you got all these little cars out front here, these little mini wagons. Why don't you tell us about them? Oh, I'm just a big fan of Hot Wheels and Matchbox and die cast, so. Yeah, these are. Uh, a few years of collecting are made by Auto World and Johnny Lightning. I have a couple of these and uh, Tom has about 12 of them. And uh, you can buy these at eBay and Facebook. They're yeah. kind of neat, they're Buick wagons and Chevy wagons. And then up here in the dash, he's got some promotional cars from GM. 71 to 76. Okay, Impalas. I have to come some on this. Caprices. Some Caprices. I'll have to come over here so you can see it. So these are kind of neat. Uh, the dealer would hand these out when you were going to look at a car. And so say you were interested in buying this car in 71, yep. they'd give you that model, take you home, look at it, get you interested and try and get you to get in, get to the dealership and buy yourself a real one. So, uh, Tom, what kind of interior does this have on it? <laughs> a little bit of a hodgepodge, the front seats out of a Chevy pickup, early nineties. Okay. The rest of the seats are out of a Subaru Outback wagon, which fit perfectly. Yeah, keeping the wagon vibe. Yeah. You got more wagons in here. Look at that. There's a couple. So, yeah, not a whole lot of options on this one, but. So oh, I'm a fan of the stripped down models. You just see so many Caprices. I like cars at low trim level. Now, it does have a third seat in the back, facing backwards, but. Yeah, little guy likes to ride back there. Yeah, that's always fun, especially riding backwards because most all well, all these wagons they face forward. So, oh, they get a kick out of uh, waving at people behind them going on the road. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that probably makes their day. Have you had a pretty good day here, Dom? Yeah, well worth it. Yeah, a lot of fun. Do it again next year. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, um, anything else you want to add? You show us anything else? Yeah, well, unfortunately, I only brought one today. I should have another one tomorrow. Oh, you're going to go buy another one? So, uh, what are you buying? Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to bring a Bel Air, a 75 Ford Order. Okay. 59000 Well, there you go. That might be at next year's show, and uh, we'll talk to him about that then. So, all right. Well, Tom, thank you for showing us your car, and we'll let you get out. I know you wanted to get out of here, so thank you, thank you, and uh, we appreciate it. All right, so we're here with uh, Dan King with his 74 Chevy Impala wagon. Um, Dan, want to tell us about your wagon a little bit. Well, I'm the, I bought it back in 2000 from a gentleman down in Iowa. Okay. Bought it right when the uh, internet started to happen. And picked it up, had it ever since. Very, very much enjoyed the car. Yeah, it's a sharp looking car. Um. All original, never been repainted. Really? <laughs> original motor. Everything's everything's all original. That's really clean for original paint. I, my wagon's original paint as well, and you you can't find original paint cars anymore. Put a different set of wheels on it. Seal up the motor. Pretty much it. it. Always it's. Let's see the motor if you pop the hood. Got the 400 motor in it. The 400 transmission. Run pretty good, does it? Runs excellent. What kind of fuel mileage you get, do you know? Well, not good. Yeah, about 12 feet to the gallon. Yeah, it gets about 
maybe 14 on a good day. Yeah, I got about 15, 16 coming up here, so that's about accurate. I got air conditioning. Air conditioning work. Yep. yep. Good deal. Let's go on the inside and show us the inside. You got some nice green interior. Yep. Yep. Oh. All original. All original. Never been never never been redone. Thank you. Okay. We got some options on here. Really clean. How many miles this got? AM FM radio on it. Is that original mileage? Yep. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand five hundred and seventeen. Super clean, that dash pad's like brand new. This is a two-seater wagon, does not have the rear seat. But overall, it's super clean. And then, uh, what's your name, buddy? The back ones are on what do you What do you think of this? You like the wagon? You like this going around and driving in it? Yeah, you having fun today? Matthew's my grandson. Okay, how old are you, Matthew? I'm eight. Eight, so in about another eight years, you can drive this? Yeah, I want to drive it. Okay, right well, away. good deal. Huh? I have a 1973 Palo Hostel that's here in the show. Oh, do you? Is that on the other side? Yep, it's on the over, over on the other side. Okay. That one, uh, it's got 28,000 miles, original miles on it. Well, I'll have to go over and check that out. It's uh, lots, of, lots of fun cars here. Yeah, it's a pretty good show today. I'd say we've had a lot of fun. You guys had fun? Yeah. Yeah, good, good times. Thank you. All right, well, we'll uh, let you go, and uh, we'll talk at you later, and have a safe trip back. Take care. All right. All righty. So we're here with Michael and Caleb, and they have a what kind of car do you have? 1976 Impala station wagon. And it's a nice one too. It's how many miles does this have? Uh, Eighty-nine thousand. Eighty-nine thousand. Sharp looking car. It's light blue. And uh, Michael, you want to tell us about this car, Sam? Yeah, this was a flower car. It was out of the uh, uh, Pinecrest Funeral Home in or uh, was it? Yeah, Idaho. Okay. Yeah. So they just basically use it for hauling flowers. Yep. Yep. Only flowers. Yep. Okay. Norafino, Idaho was the name of the town. Norafino, Idaho. Norafino, yeah. And Caleb gets to drive it occasionally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit. Oh. Well, why don't you uh, show us the inside and show us how clean this car is? Got some nice pinstripe going on there. I like it because it's got a power bench got a posi track rear end in it which is another kind of unique thing a lot of options on this or no uh, kind of interesting options it's got like the uh rack delete it doesn't have a roof rack so that's kind of a different thing again and clock delete as well clock, clock, delete. clock delete that's a kind of weird thing air defroster defogger you got passenger side remote mirror and is it just am am radio got the old bucket down there Deerfold. to stuff away in the corner Yep. Kind of a unique thing for an Impala. Trash can. Yep, trash can. You don't find me air conditioning. And this is just a two-seater wagon. This is a six-passenger, yep. Yep. Interior is about 10 out of 10. And looks really sharp. Power seat. Crank windows. Yep. And it's got a remote spot driver's side mirror. Mm -hmm. Go around at the back here. Sure. This is repainted. Has it? Now that this is a little different wagon, it has the manual tailgate, right? Yes, it does. Why don't you uh, show us how that works? Yeah, okay, I'll show them how that goes. Okay, so now, on these, as I said earlier, some of them have the manual tailgate and some have the power tailgate. So what you do, you just turn that little knob and then push it down. It's really kind of nice. Does that ever get stuck at all? No, or? never. Okay. Sometimes the simpler things are, the less they break. Yeah, really. Uh, mine it has a power tailgate power tailgate honestly i'd probably like to have one of these manual tailgates they're probably a little more rare aren't they yeah yeah we got all the bumpers apart and disassembled and everything's been painted inside the bumpers and underneath been painted yeah it's a real sharp looking car you got the ss wheels on there and yep. uh, how far did you guys drive here today it took us about six hours from morrison illinois morrison illinois and we are in good hue minnesota at the clamshell reunion as you can tell, there's, there's quite a bit of them behind us. and Now you have other wagons as well, right? Yeah, we have a 76 Caprice Estate. Okay. It's got all original wood grain on it. And, and you got, ca got cars too? Or? Yeah, like a 70, another 73 wagon and three coupes and a couple sedans. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Yep, yep, yep. And Caleb's working on his way to get about two, three, four other cars <laughs> if his girlfriend lets yeah, him. And we are working through a few things, yep. yep. Okay. 
Well, anything else you like to talk about your car, add to it, or? Nope, this is one of the coolest days we've been to. Yeah. Nice to see everybody's cars, they're all special. Yeah, they're all different, and they all have their own little character, and they're all in different colors, and yep. it's I wanna, a... I wanna thank very much Hill for putting this on today. Yeah, Hill did a really great job. Did so an we, awesome job. We interviewed him earlier, and... Yep, I, it was a lot of work. I don't think you could ask for a better day, so... Nope, no, you ordered good weather. He did, so... Yeah. All right, well, we'll uh, move on to the next car, and thanks for showing it to us, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks. All right, so we're here with Noah, and he's standing beside a 72 Chevy Caprice. And uh, Noah, why don't you tell us about yourself, a little about this car? And um, well, I'm only 12, but um, Hilbert, the one who lives here and who's doing this car show, is my stepdad, and. This is um, my favorite car that he owns. It's a 1972 Chevy Caprice. Okay. And what I really love about this is one, the seats are amazing. They're just perfect. They're so comfortable. And two, this thing has such a big engine. When you're going like 50 miles an hour, it feels like you're going 80. Yeah, it's got the 454 in it. Yep. You can see down there. And yeah, I bet this just flies down the road. Mm -hmm. Good riding car, four door, lots of room. Why don't you hop in there and sit down and we'll get you in the driver's seat. So Noah is... Oh, it's hot in here. Probably. How old are you? I'm 12. 12. So in about four more years, you can be driving this car down the road. Maybe not this car. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, one of them, but... We're here with Jerry, uh, with Jerry Jr.'s Garage, and you might recognize him from last year. He came to our show in Greenville, Ohio with this wagon. Uh, it's kind of questionable coming last year, and but he made it. And Jerry, why don't you tell us about your wagon a little bit and your, uh, your son there? Well, this year I had to make it a little more white and family friendly, so we got some tires on it. And thanks to Josh Murphy, who's also here, he's got the did the air conditioning, and so we're comfortable there. Got the windows fixed and all sorts of stuff. But we made it here. That's what matters, right? We did make it. I met Jerry in Chicago, and we picked up from there, and then. Went to uh, Dells, Wisconsin last night for dinner, and then we went to Holman, Wisconsin. We yep. had a friend of mine, and uh, that's about two hours from here, so we left this morning, got here, and made the show. It's been a pretty good show, and uh, I really... Beautiful, I beautiful came, drive. And, yeah, was, we came up on the Mississippi River. Beautiful views. you see it in the video, so... Um, I don't know, anything you want to add? Oh, it's been an interesting show. There's also a lot of um, sedans and convertibles here too, so that was really neat to see. Probably just as many of those, that, you know, if not more than the wagons. Yeah, this so. year uh, Hill opened it up to them 71 through 6 GM cars. Last year I had just wagons, but I mean overall it was a really great turnout. This is the largest collection of clamshell wagons in the world. And They'll make a nice couple YouTube videos here and yeah. people can look back on it and say, hey, That's I was some other there. YouTubers too. Anyway. I do what? Met some other YouTubers Yeah, too. there's a couple other YouTubers here, good flyers. He's a YouTuber and uh, Jerry, with Jerry Jr.'s Garage and Ted with Clubs Garage and a couple other guys videoing. So we're going to head out here after a while and probably go get some dinner or something, right? Yeah, it's been a good time and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So. We'll see what happens next year. Hopefully it's as big, if not bigger, right? I think it'll be bigger. It, it went from 16 to 45, so I'd say that's a pretty good turnout. Pretty but. cool. I love seeing all the different options, Are you, serious? you know, yeah. all these cars. So. Yeah, real neat. Uh, all right, well, good deal. We'll uh, get out of here and get on and hit the road. All right, so we're here with Bob Hespin. Um, Bob has a 71 Custom Cruiser like mine, except it's red not here at the moment it's getting worked on and Bob is the one who actually started the clamshell Facebook page you want to tell us a little about that or how you uh, yeah sure it really just was you know something like, to do yeah because there wasn't one yeah at that point you know the, like I've had metric wagons and the 91 to 6 Roadmaster wagons and all that and they've all got their groups and yeah sure there just wasn't anything specific for for the clamshell, the clamshell wagons. wagons and being as unique as they are um figured that you know might 
might have a handful of guys that would end up finding it and you know yeah, and but it would be useful for trading information amongst those few guys and how you know, long, I think it's how long ago did you start it? 2016 when I got my wagon. 2016. Um, so. yeah. And now it's I think there's like 8,000. Yeah, right. Or at more. 8,000 or more. So yeah. it keeps growing. And Bob's the administrator, the moderator. He's in charge of the page. So. Uh, and and really, I have to say that Hill really does has taken over more yeah. of the day to day administration stuff than I have. I kind of let it go and uh, do its own thing. Go in and. Actually, we've been, you know, there's pretty low drama. Every now and again, you get a guy that, you know, tries yeah, to talk some smack. Guys, you know. That's all right. But, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe next year. Uh, so your wagon's in the shop right now. You're getting new uh, rust repaired done in the window area. Yep, yep. Put yep. the windows back get, in it. Get her all sealed up. Maybe next year, wherever we have the show, you'll be able to bring yours. And then you got... Uh, your buddy, he has a 71 wagon too. Yeah, so we could, it would be nice to have an assemblage of yeah, you know, 71 we get, uh, olds. Norm, Norm Witt, he could bring his 71. We yeah. have four of them all together, which would be kind of nice. That and would be very cool. Depending yeah. on where it's at, we'll see if we can make it next year. But yeah, I said, Bob, you're going to be here tonight, and there's some stuff going on tomorrow, but not a whole lot. Most of the guys have left, as you can see. Not a whole lot of wagons left, but. <laughs> which feels odd to say when you're still surrounded by yeah, still, dozens still of about them. Yeah, there's still twenty-five, but <laughs> I said twenty or so left, and yeah. uh, we're getting ready to leave. We're going to go up to Red Wing, Minnesota, which ironically, this is where these shoes are from, our Red Wing oh, boots. It is for, okay. And uh, we're going to go get some dinner and uh, kind of hang out. I guess we'll go back home tomorrow. Yeah. So it's it's good to finally, you know, yeah, meet, good meeting you, Bob. Uh, you know, put actual faces and handshakes to names. Yeah, yeah. I say yeah. you're on the Pretty page cool. all the time, and you don't really know each other. And so this is a good event. Uh, Hill did a spectacular job. Absolutely fantastic. This I think is... uh, he should do it again next year. <laughs> I mean, he, you know, between him and uh, you know a couple of the other local guys, I'm blanking on the one yeah, gentleman's Jason name, Jason Cagle, and uh, yeah. He has this nice row of 71 through 76 wagons over there. And yeah, yeah. The uh, it really, you know, it, this is clamshell central pretty yeah, much. And it could be anywhere <laughs> next year. I mean, if someone wants to host it, you can shout out to the group, or I can try and host it again in Greenville, Ohio, which is in southwestern Ohio, north 70, 75 in that general area. So Yeah, it would be fun to continue seeing it move around and see, yeah, you know, so get give people the chance to have other you know yeah, like, get make it easier for them to bring their cars out hill and, opened it up to the 71 through six cars and we could do that again next year i think so oh, yeah. in tennessee they kind of may want to host it so it might be down there next year you'll just have to wait and see but uh yeah well i guess we'll wrap things up here and uh, we're gonna go get some dinner so <laughs> sounds good we'll head that way so well good, good meeting you and, absolutely uh, a pleasure we'll uh, get out of here Well, that wraps up the Clam Shell Wagon Reunion, Clam Fest 2022 at Hill Strusses. Pretty good show. I don't have any complaints. I think that was an amazing, amazing show. We'll have to do it again next year. So we are downtown Red Wing, Minnesota. Um, some of you might recognize this town. Red Wing is where Red Wing shoes come from. We have a store up here. We're going to go see and check it out. Actually, it's right there. So there is the Red Wing shoe store. This is downtown Red Wing, Minnesota. So we're downtown Red Wing, Minnesota with the station wagon and right across from the Red Wing Shoe Company. Uh, for those of you who don't know, like I said, Red Wing Shoe Company, based out of Red Wing, Minnesota. This is one of their, I guess, sales buildings, sales departments. And then we'll go across the road and show you the one over here. One of their stores across the street with the station wagon. Pretty heavy traffic down here for Saturday night. Factory, shoe factory is right down the street. 
right down here so we're going to take you down there and look at it that building on the end so now we're at the red wing shoe company 127 main street big brick three-story building for those of you that don't know i'm wearing my red wing boots so i wanted to come to red wing minnesota to check it all out got the wagon sitting there beside the building i guess they still use this All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave Red Wing, Minnesota. And go down here and check out the riverfront. It right, looks like there's a paddle boat, maybe a train station down there. If you guys ever get up here to uh, Red Wing, Minnesota, be sure to check it out. They make great boots. These are Red Wing boots. So we'll go ahead and head south and uh, show you around a little bit and we'll go from there. doing a little sightseeing this morning we're in front of the red wing train depot with the station wagon i guess this is still an active amtrak line the amtrak runs through here a couple times a day real neat old building with the wagon in front of it it just so happens to be a huge paddle boat it's the american duchess from memphis tennessee uh talked to the guy he said that they're getting fuel here and then they're going to work their way back south and go down to Louisiana. That's a big boat. miles and four long days of traveling we finally made it back to Ohio uh, all right so that's going to conclude this episode of Pup's Garage on the wagon reunion from Goodhue Minnesota uh, it was a pretty long days traveling we came back yesterday and uh, pretty much took the whole day and into the evening and came back and spent the night with buddies and I'd say it was a successful trip I'd do it again we got this uh, t-shirt here and Hill did these this year. Last year I had keychains for the car show. We did little keychains key with the wagon on it, and this year he did t-shirts. So that was kind of nice. He had a couple different ones, and I guess we'll wait and do it again next year. If um, anyone wants to host it, go ahead and speak up now, and you can kind of put your name in the hat. Um, I could maybe do it again here in Greenville, or we can go maybe to Tennessee or somewhere else. So till next time. Drive them if you got them. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Clips Garage.